Ladies and gentlemen, cities always lead the way. Electric grids, street lights, underground railways, they all began in cities. They are the places where everything comes together, and they are bringing more and more of us together. Three out of four Europeans now live in cities. These big numbers are creating new pressures. Air quality can suffer. Waste disposal becomes a challenge. And energy demand puts infrastructure under increasing strains. However, Europe's cities are beginning to deliver the changes that we need. Ljubljana, Helsinki and Milan are showcasing the benefits of separate waste collection. From Amsterdam to Kroklau, 18 cities have signed the Porto Declaration on Water, and I am sure more will follow. Today, as city delegates, you have a very important responsibility. Very often, you are the level of government closest to the people, and you are on the front line in dealing with environmental and resource management issues. That means you have the power to drive a change towards more sustainable behavior and more sustainable systems. You can use tools like public procurement. With your purchasing power, you can choose goods and services with a lower environmental impact. When you boost the demand for green products and services, it's good for local sustainability and it's good for local business. The European Union can help as well. Perhaps you have seen our new handbook on procurement, Buying Green. It showcases best practices in cities around the European Union. And next year, we will be holding more training courses for public procurement officers. We are also making funds available to help cities move to a more circular economy. Our UIA, Urban Innovative Actions, are backing innovative projects supporting fresh ideas to help solve common problems. Because the European Union has always been all about sharing, about learning from each other. Sharing information and best practices will be vital in the shift to a more circular economy. The EU's Green Capital Award is one network for sharing great ideas. The winners are ambassadors for change, spreading the word around the Union. We have built on their experience in developing our new Green City tool, which will make it easier to monitor your city's environmental performance, to compare your results with other cities, to see where your peers have found good solutions and to get help on difficult issues. Because if you are faced with a difficult problem, Maybe another city has already solved it somewhere else. The Circular Economy Stakeholder Platform is another sharing initiative, helping Europe's cities share their experience and learn from each other. I am sure Euro cities will play a central role here as a member of the Coordination Committee. You will be putting all that expertise to good use, and I hope you will also bring that expertise to Green Week next year. Green Week is the Commission's annual environment conference, and in 2018, it's all about cities. We're calling it Green Cities for a Greener Future, and it's another great opportunity for networking. I hope to see many of you there in May next year. Thank you.